Hello friends, welcome to my channel Clinical Biochemistry by Dr. P.K. Prabhakar. Today we are going to talk about the another indigenous vaccines which is uh, produced by, uh, which is uh, manufactured in India only, uh, that is the second uh, vaccines for the COVID-19, uh, COVID that is Covishield. The first vaccine already we have discovered, uh, that is Covaxin, which was produced by Bharat Biotech. This is the second vaccine, which is Covishield. Uh, uh, this was developed by uh, S uh, Oxford University and AstraZeneca, and it was manufactured by Serum Institute of India, Pune. So uh, we are going to see uh, first few facts about this uh, Covishield vaccine. Then we will talk about their clinical trials. So this is uh, India is uh, known as vaccine powerhouse because we India makes roughly 60 percent of the world's total vaccine productions, and we are having roughly uh, six uh, more, I means roughly half of a dozen of uh, different vaccine uh, production uh, plants manufacturing uh, different company which makes roughly 60 percent of the world's vaccine production. That's why India is called as vaccine powerhouse. So this Covishield vaccines, uh, which is also called as CHADG. Uh, OX1 or AstraZeneca 121222. Uh, this is in the country's second indigenous vaccines uh, which is produced against the SARS CoV 2 virus or COVID. It is developed by uh, Oxford University and AstraZeneca, but the manufacturing unit, uh, manufacture, uh, manufacture of this vaccines is done by Pune based Serum Institute of India. So, this is the uh, second vaccine from the India. This vaccine production, it is going to use the replication deficient uh, chimpanzee uh, adenovirus that is viral vector based on the weakened version of the common cold virus that is adenovirus. So how this uh, uh, virus, virus vector uh, vaccines has been going to be produced? So what we are going to do in this case, this is the methodology, how it has been produced. So first, uh, we are going to select a similar type of virus from the non-natural host. So here, because we are going to develop a vaccines for human new trials, human usage. So we are going to select similar type of virus, similar category of virus from the different host like other than the human. So here we have selected a comparatively similar host that is chimpanzee adenovirus we have taken. This chimpanzee adenovirus has been modified uh, so, and so that nucleic acid has been removed and it is normally not going to be replicated. So this is called as a viral vector because this vector capsid will be used as a carrier molecules, carrier. So this is our viral vector and this is called as CHAD OX1 viral vector. From SARS-CoV-2, we have taken a spike, they have taken the spike protein producing genes. So gene responsible for the spike protein, this spike production producing genes has been transferred into this vector. So now this vector is loaded with the spike protein genes. So this is our vaccines. This vaccines, it is going to introduce into the vaccine recipients. So once this vac this gene is going to be transferred into the host cells, there it is going to produce a spike proteins and that a spike protein normally activates immune system for the production of immunoglobulins against this spike proteins. So whenever person will be infected with SARS-CoV-2 for a fresh uh, virus will come into their body because they will have already immunoglobulins produced against that one. So they will be uh, not going to get disease. This is the normal protocols for the normal vaccine productions uh, strategy. The, when this uh, means uh, co uh, Covishield vaccines have been produced, the composition of this Covishield pack that contains uh, the that recombinant vac virus which is loaded with, that is adenovirus which is loaded with the virus uh, genes that is roughly 5 into 10 to the power 10 viral particles. This recombinant as a replication deficient chimpanzee adenovirus vector encoding the spike protein S, which is normally a glycoprotein present on the viral surface. So this uh, cell is going to be produced by genetically modified human embryonic K K293 cell. This is the mammalian cells uh, for the cell culture, mammalian cell culture. So there it has been produced. Other than this uh, viral particles, it also contains some of the additives like histidine, L-histidine, hydrochloride, monohydrate, magnesium chloride, hexahydrate, polysorbate 80, ethanol, sucrose, sodium chlorides and EDTA. So these are the different compositions of the uh, one dose of vaccines, one do dose of Covishield vaccines which roughly contains 0.5 ml of liquid. 
this vaccine once it will be produced it is going for different clinical trials so vaccine this if you see the pack of this vaccine it is a colorless uh, slightly brown color which is clearly solely, uh, slightly opaque and particle free and roughly its ph will be 6.6 .6. the serum institute of, of india covid vaccine that is covid shield vaccine we, this has been approved by dgci uh, for the restricted uh, restricted or emergency usage for uh, the selected group of people this vaccine who has gone for different clinical trials and preclinical trials in the preclinical trials covid seed vaccines have been given to mice and macaca this is macaca and there they it has been found that they have in uh, robust uh, in, uh, means uh, response for the humoral and the cell mediated response has been produced this response was mainly through the h1 uh, th1 helper t cells and there they have introduced uh, means uh, induces the igg productions immunoglobulin g productions so that has been found in the preclinical trials in the phase 1 clinical trials uh, roughly uh, around 21785 people had got this one this that i is slightly wrong so this is 21785 individuals were administered with two dose of covishield and there uh, it has been found that the vaccine is uh, having no uh, any kind of side effect and but it was found to be effective through th1 cells in the case of phase 2 3 trials there 1600 people has been administered with the two dose of covishield and there also efficacy has been found around uh, more than 70% efficacy rate was there in the preclinical study uh, these are the different observation which has done in the preclinical study of the covishields so vaccination of the uh, vac vaccines that is chad uh, ox1 uh, that is adenovirus from the oxford university and covid19 introduced in a balanced humoral and the cellular immunity response that is th1 and th2 mediated helper cells in the rhesus macaca but mainly it is through th1 they also significantly reduced the virus low viral load in the bronchio alveolar uh, leverage fluids as well as in the lower respiratory tract system of the rhesus macaca when they were injected with the uh, sars cov2 means the the mon monkey who has received this uh, vaccines their virus load has been reduced even given the virus load compared to the control animals and no pneumonia was observed in the vaccinated animals so any animals who had vaccinated there no pneumonia was found there was no difference in the nasal setting between the vaccinated and the control groups of the macaca so this was in uh, this these are some of the observation which has done in the preclinical study then it has gone for phase uh, different phases phase 1 and phase 2 so here we are i'm going to show you phase 2 and 3 clinical trials of data of the covishield this phase 2 3 clinical trials data uh, that is phase 2 observed uh, blind randomized control study of determined safety and immunogenicity of the covishield vaccines in the healthy individuals so there uh, these are the different it has been uh, done in the 1600 peoples and there it was found in age group was more than 18 years people were there and this is the inclusion criteria this is the exclusion criteria inclusion criteria was uh, both sex male and female had been selected for the study and those who had more than 18 year of age uh, written consent has been taken from all the participants the participant is residing in uh, of the study area and willing to comply with the study protocol requirements healthy as determined by the medical history and physical examinations Female participants of child-bearing potential must have a negative urine pregnancy test, means no pregnant woman has been included in this test. Exclusion criteria was uh, IgG's uh, response, uh, zero positivity of SARS-CoV-2, history of laboratory confirmed COVID-19, and uh, they have not taken any kind of vaccines, no fever, no illness was there, history of current positive SARS-CoV-2 by RT-PCRs, uh, so if, if these things will be there, they, that type of persons has been uh, this uh, not considered for the study the main observation in phase 2 clinical trials was here they have selected 1600 eligible participants for more than 18 year of age and will be enrolled for the study of this 1600 400 participants will be part of immunogenicity cohort and will be randomly assigned a 3 is to 1 ratio to receive either covishield or a, a vaccines respectively the remaining 1200 so 400 has taken uh, this type of 
combination in 3 to n uh, one ratio of covicil and oxford vaccines and remaining 1200 participants from for for safety study so 400 for emergency study and 1200 for safety issue randomly assigned in a 3 to 1 ratio to receive either covicil or placebo respectively and the main observations during the phase 2 clinical trials was uh, they have no fo not found any kind of negative effect. They have seen the main uh, efficacy was through TH1 and IgG uh, response has been there. Uh, means, uh, there is a sharp spike in the IgG productions and no side effects other than the some kind of adverse reaction, especially at the site of uh, in means uh, injections. Then. This is the press release when uh, this uh, have, uh, vaccine has been given uh, the uh, a special uh, consideration for the uh, specific usage in the restricted groups. So the press release which was done by DGCI India during the uh, confirmation given for this vaccines. So they told that this is uh, Serum Institute of India Pune has presented a recombinant chimpanzee adenovirus vector that is Covicel which encodes normally SARS-CoV-2 spike glycoproteins and that technology has been given by AstraZeneca and Oxford University. Here they have done immunogenicity and the efficacy data generated from the 23,745 participants and whose age will be more than 18 years of both sexes and this has been done in three different countries, uh, UK, Brazil and I think South Africa. The overall vaccine's efficacy was found more than 70%, so it uh, 70.42%. Serum is there after this one, this data presentation say the Serum Institute of India has got permission for the conduction of phase 2 and 3 clinical trials and I have already shown you the 1600 patients data for uh, phase 2 and 3 clinical trials. The clinical trials which is ongoing that they can continue if they have any uh, ongoing clinical trials. In this study, in this uh, 23,745 study, what they have done it? Uh, Roughly 12,000 people, 12,021 people received at least one dose of vaccines, uh, AstraZeneca vaccines, and the remaining means they have got minimum they have got one dose, and here they have observed some kind of side effects. Side effects means at the site of the common side effects. I will uh, show you list of the th uh, side effects, and then we will talk about some of the percentage how many people have found those side effects. This vaccines, this Covicil vaccines is a colorless, slightly brown in the color and opaque in the nature and particulate free and have a pH of 6.6. .6. You can store it in a refrigerator at normal temp uh, freezing temperature, normally a storing temperature that is plus 2 to plus 8 degrees centigrade. Uh, no need to freeze it. So it should be, uh, should, it should not be freezed and light pro protected from the light. Once this vial will be opened for if we have multi-dose vials, if you are going to open these vials, it should be used within 6 hours, means it should be used as fast as possible, but not more than 6 hours, if you are going to keep it at plus 2 to 25 degrees centigrade then. So it should be not used. When a person is going to be vaccinated, uh, so before going to be vaccinated, you have to give some information to the vaccinators. Uh, like if they are having any kind of allergic anaphylaxis reactions against the Covicil or any of the component of these Covicil vaccines uh, components uh, have fevers, uh, bleeding disorders or any kind of blood thinner they are going to take if they are immunocompromised or they have any kind of immune systems are going to be affected if they are uh, means pregnant lady or planning to be pregnant or breastfeeding or they are taking any kind of uh, Covid vaccines if any of these conditions are there then person should be avoided to get vaccinated so then they should not go for Covicil vaccines if they don't have any of these conditions then two doses of this vaccine should be injected into the deltoid muscles of upper arm in 28 days apart means 0 days and 29th days once uh, they have got so during their clinical trials they have got some kind of adverse reactions uh, these are the some of the adverse reactions uh, which they have seen during this one uh, so most common adverse reaction was seen that is uh, tenderness at the site of uh, injection site that is uh, more than 60% people have got uh, tenderness uh, here you can see it very that is very common uh, injection site pain headache uh, fatigue is on uh, fatigue also roughly in the more than 50% people then 
malaysia malas in more than 40 percent people pyrexia then chilling more than 30 percent people and nausea so these are some of the common side effects which occurs uh, with any of the vaccinations so here also we have these uh, side effects so this is all about the uh, informations which we have uh, which was available for the covid vaccines so hope uh, you have got some information on the covid vaccines i'll update you whenever any kind of new updates will come for this vaccines so if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe it if you like the video press the bell buttons uh, press the like button bell button you can share the video thank you very much have a nice day